It's really hard for me to have this conversation right now, but I feel split. I feel split. I live in a world where I understand that depression does not care about race. I live with this understanding. Depression does not care about what religion you have or even your sexuality. It doesn't care. But I also live in a world where I am a black man with locks. And there's people that would kill me just because of that. So, I want to talk about this because regardless of those to me to be facts, this Buffalo shooting is affecting black mental health, black people's mental health, people with similar complexion as mine. I want to share some things that I'm feeling. If you are feeling anything in terms of the loss, I live in Indianapolis. I don't even live in Buffalo. And I cry today. But if you're feeling anything personally for your families and the loved ones that were lost, You are not alone. I can't even imagine. I mean, I literally, I was talking to the, about this with my, my, uh, my friends. Dude, to be a black person, okay? I don't, it's, to be a black person. We could all be any person, okay? But to be a black person right now and to live in a world where you are streamed, you are just live streamed to be killed. This is not a movie. This is real life. Social media, okay? There's a difference between social media and actual physical reality, okay? Real life. If everyone, if everyone, see, anyone, children, parents, school teachers, pastors, politicians, if everyone is seeing this on social media, people are going to be affected with their mental health. People are not going to be the same and walk on the street looking at other people the same way. Have you ever watched a scary movie before and had a nightmare? Have you ever watched, heck, have you ever watched a positive, uplifting romance movie, I don't know, and had a great dream that night? What we see is something that in interprets, it changes how we perceive things. It changes how we interact with things. It changes how we behave, behave, behave. I don't think, I did not think about this question recently, but until after the Buffalo shooting. This question came to my mind. Do I now just walk outside, understanding that even though myself, I'm walking and living my life trying to survive as any human being is doing, in my opinion. Am I really just supposed to live normally, like without thinking at all about what, what happened? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Just not think about what happened? Because I know people can see this and apparently they care more about it than I, even I do. Am I supposed to just live my life and not even look at other people differently?
black mental health. How do you think black people are being affected by this? How do you think their mental health is being, being affected? Black people, people which is, how do you think children that are in elementary and middle school and high school are being affected by seeing that there is a person that live streamed, yo? Bro, this dude actually took the time to think about the technicalities of technology to be able to make sure it was high quality enough for other people to watch, bro. It takes work to think about how you want to do something technologically and then surpass that. Go ahead and just kill people, bro. I haven't even watched the video, by the way, just so y'all know. After George Floyd, okay, I, I, just, I just cannot, it's like, that happened? Like, what? Bro, what? What? I know y'all can see domestic, outside of black people, I know y'all can see domestic violence and terrorism is on the rise. I know y'all can see that. I know y'all can see that, bro. All mental health is being affected right now. Everyone's. Everyone's. But man, I don't know, man. My name is Emmanuel, with an I, or is I'm just a black man, hmm? You know what I'm saying? Do I really have to think about those type of questions when in this society there are so much more important things to think about? Depression does not care. You know, people are literally, bro, people are taking their own lives. What? <sighs> Man, dude, these are really, really, really hurtful times, bro. Hurtful times. And uh, I hope they go away. Man. You know, I do have some solutions on how I believe that things could be changed and could be better, but... Right now, I think it's more important to say, uh, I am truly, truly, truly sorry for all the losses in Buffalo. I am, I can't, I honestly, I, it's like, I know my words will always fall short. And I'm sorry for that. I am. I am. All right, y'all. I'm going to go. I think we have to just keep trying. <laughs> All right. If this video was helpful for you, um, then that's, that, that's awesome. I'm not sure what would be helpful for you at this point, depending on who you are and what you're going through in your life, but I hope this was helpful in some way. All right, it's time to end the video. Peace.